Hey everyone, Scott from Nerebo.com coming to you with my biggest challenge of the year so far, which is illustrating the all new 2023 Emirates livery. I'm already here in Adobe Illustrator trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, mainly because there is very little or there was very little reference material available at the time that I created this illustration, which was just a few days after this was unveiled. So I had very little to go off of, but I did start with my previous Emirates A380 livery illustration that I did a few years ago. And that helped me get the basic shape of the flag on the vertical stabilizer. But then I had to go to the the new reference photos or the, the spy shots of this new livery. And all I really did was trace the basic shapes, not trying to get it perfect because I know the perspective was a little bit off. It, it wasn't a perfectly side on photo, but it was enough to get me started, at least to lay over top of my existing illustration, just so I could match it with the reference photos above and, uh, yeah, basically all I'm saying is that this wasn't perfect. I probably should have waited until there was more reference material available so that I can make a more accurate illustration. But I think I got it. Uh, you know, Just getting these basic shapes wasn't too difficult because I knew the challenge was going to be those stripes in the flag itself. I didn't really know how I was going to do that quite yet, but I just kept going. And it felt really good to have the basic flag created, just to give me that confidence to know that I'm on the right track and I'm kind of doing this right. But honestly, I, I, I didn't really know. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was actually feeling a little bit worried at this point, not knowing if I was even going to be able to recreate all of these little stripes you see here. So my first attempt at this was to literally trace the spy photo because I, I didn't know of any other way of doing this. Again, I'm just in Adobe Illustrator here, and I'm using the, uh, the, the pen tool just to create those shapes. And I thought this was going to be the best way to do it, and I knew it wouldn't be 100% accurate, because again, this photo is not perfectly side-on like my, my template is. So the perspective was going to be off, and I, I knew I was going to have to make adjustments to these stripes once I placed it over top of the this flag graphic that I created to fit my template. And you know what? So far, so good. I was actually liking the way this is turning out. I thought this was going to be the way that I was going to do it. But I'll tell you what, long story short, I redid this probably three or four times uh, because by the time I got done with all of these, it just wasn't looking as clean and symmetrical as the actual livery. This was all done by hand here. I hand drew every stripe and it just, I just wasn't satisfied with it. And I, I redid it so many times. And then you'll see a little bit later in this video how I eventually figured out the way that they did it or the way that they probably did it. And it's much cleaner, it's much more symmetrical, and it's a lot better than doing it by hand like I'm doing here. And not only that, it was a lot faster too. So, you know, and that's just the way that it goes sometimes. I mean, sometimes you just have to experiment. You have, just have to dive into an illustration, even if you don't know how to do it. That's how you become a better illustrator. That's how I learned. I mean, nobody taught me how to do this. I just, you know, I just jump in and figure things out on the fly. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. And I wasn't even going to upload this video. I, I think it wasn't really far beyond this point where I realized that I was probably in a little bit over my head here. I just couldn't get these stripes looking the way that I wanted them to. And I thought, this is a livery that I, I, I just can't do this until I have better reference material because I'm totally guessing here. And quite frankly, <laughs> that's not the way that I like doing these kind of airline livery illustrations. I like to be as accurate as I can. And I know I'm never going to be perfect, but if, it's, if I'm totally way off, then I'm not happy. Then I get frustrated. And like I said, I mean, this is, I was getting to about this point right here and I realized that I was over my head and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do this. I, I'm done. I'm not going to make this video. I'm not going to make this illustration which was a real bummer because this is a all new livery and I was really excited to to illustrate it and get it up on my blog and tell everyone what it's like to illustrate <laughs> but I I just I, I couldn't do it I was getting so frustrated and what you're not seeing in this video 
are the breaks where I just stopped and I took a break for a couple hours. Uh, I believe I took a a break for an entire day because I was so frustrated and I thought that I was not going to continue with this illustration. But I always came back to it. I didn't want to accept defeat. And even though I still wasn't quite happy with this, uh, I just, I I pushed on. I knew I could do this, (laughs) but it was frustrating. So now, yeah, you see me going back and redoing some of the parts that I already did. Again, I'm still just drawing these by hand. Uh, This time, what I'm trying to do is I I drew one stripe, and then I copied it multiple times instead of drawing each stripe individually. I thought that was the ticket. I thought that was going to be the solution to all my problems. But again, long story short, it wasn't. This is not the way that I ended up doing the final illustration. And I'm showing you all this, again, just simply because it's just trial and error. I mean, sometimes with these complex airline liveries, it's just, that's the only way you can do them. I mean, I I looked at this one and I I had no idea how they did it, especially this part right here. This red part, this forward section of the flag, I saved this for last. I knew it was going to be the most difficult. But in retrospect, I should have done this first because this was the most frustrating part. I could not figure out how they did this. Because at the bottom of the flag, the stripes curve upwards. And by the time that you get to the top of the flag, they're curving down. And if you look at the renderings or the spy photos of the livery itself, you can see it's just perfectly symmetrical. It was like it was programmatically created somehow. And I had no idea how they did that, just simply because it was an asymmetrical design. The stripes, they weren't repeated many times, or they would, it looks like they were repeated, but just the shape of them, they they evolved from top to bottom or bottom to top to match the shape of the flag. And it was frustrating. And here I am thinking, okay, I got it. I did it. It looks good. It looks good. But the problem was, I got stuck in my own little world and I wasn't looking at the reference photos and these stripes were actually too thin and it just, once I got done with this and I looked, I I compared it to the reference photo, it wasn't even close and that was my fault. I should have been looking at the reference photo all along and yeah, this is just, (laughs) so here we are. There was about a, maybe a six or seven hour break in between what I just showed you and then what I'm drawing right now because at that point I just said screw it I'm done I'm not going to do this I can't do it but I had an idea and the idea was to create a brush that was an arrow instead of drawing each of these stripes by hand I created a simple arrow brush and then used my pen tool using that brush to create these stripes. So all I had to do was create a line and an arrow or a a triangle or a pointy end (laughs) thing was automatically created. And I think that's the way the designers of this livery did it. Now that I've I've done this, uh, that's the only thing that I can think of because that was the only way that I could do this that was so symmetrical or to make it look like it was symmetrical. And again, if you really look at my illustration, you can see that it's not totally perfect, but it's close enough. And I spent hours trying to get these spaced properly and looking at least somewhat close to (laughs) what the reference photos show. So I finally, I nailed this. I spent probably three hours alone on this red forward section of the flag. And yeah, this was, by the time I got to this point, I knew this was easily the most frustrating airline livery that I've ever recreated, which is really strange because the photos doesn't make it look all that complicated. I mean, it's just a simple waving flag graphic, very similar to Aeroflot, a livery that I've already created. So yeah, anyway, so I'm back working with my A380 PSD template. Just at this point, I'm stealing elements from my previous Emirates livery illustration that I created, just dumping them onto this one because I was pretty much over it (laughs) at this point. But I did it. The sense of satisfaction I got by creating this illustration was immense. I I did not think it was going to be this complicated. And uh, 
I did it. I pushed through it and I did it, which is the important thing. So yeah, there you have it. Probably six to seven hours or six to seven hours to recreate this livery from scratch. Uh, it's a beautiful livery. Uh, congrats to Emirates and the designers who put this together. Uh, it's a nice evolution of the previous design, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it was fun to recreate. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.